Hi, dear all the students. As I have shown and discussed in the last video about warping stresses, how they get developed and how to calculate warping stresses. Uh, if you do not have sh uh, seen that video, you can see by clicking the link as I have uh, mentioned in description box. Now we will discuss the problem uh, regarding warping stresses. How to calculate? The problem is given as calculate the maximum warping stresses at the edge of a slab of so and so meter length and so and so meter width. So basically what we have to do, we have to find the warping stresses in the slab. Now, the things given in the question are elastic modulus of concrete, radius of relative stiffness, temperature differences between top and bottom surface of the slab, coefficient of thermal expansion of concrete and Poisson's ratio. Now, let's solve the problem. First, we will write the given data according to the problem or according to the question slab 4.2 into 3.5 or whatever it is given in the question we will write in this format l into b or lx into l ly why we are writing whenever we are designing a pavement cc pavement we consider the pavement as a slab in which there are two directions lx and ly lx is lengthwise and ly as width wise so lx value should be taken as here and ly should be or l into b okay next ec we know next radius of relativeness uh, stiffness l denoted by small l temperature difference delta t coefficient of thermal expansion is denoted by alpha Poisson's uh, ratio is denoted by nu. Now, according to Bradbury's coefficient, we need to calculate Lx by L and Ly by L. For Cx, see, listen carefully. For Cx, we need to calculate Lx by L and for cy we need to calculate ly by l now in our problem the value for lx is given as 4.2 and l as 1 meter so dividing these two we will get the value for lx similarly for ly we are doing we will get this now we are calculating the value for cx how we will calculate c we get the value here as 4.2 for example 4.2 we need exact value for that in cx how will we calculate now see lx by l we have 4.2 which is lying in between 4 and 5 is it okay right now we will take 4 L x by L and 5 for L x by L. In that we will check for C x. C x 0 0.440 C x 0 0.720 Okay. Remember this? Now check. What I have shown in the previous table I am writing here for 4 for 5. We need the value for 4.2 Again I am telling you for your clarification I am showing 4.2 I need. I have 4 and 5 value. So 4.2 can be obtained by interpolation method. Except interpolation method, you can't get any value. Remember this thing in your mind. Notify. Okay. Now, how uh, to interpolate? It is a simple way uh, as you have learned uh, about this method in 10th and intermediate standard that uh, first this value should be put here next this value 
you will get the value for cx at 4.2 okay now similarly we will calculate for cy okay cy uh, cy will be calculated on the basis of ly by l which we have 3.5 again i am showing 3.5 we have not 3 not 4 so come here in table we can see ly by l for 3 ly by l for 4 for cy 3 at 3 0.175 cy for 4 0 0.440 why we are taking 3 and 4 because our value which we have calculated for ly by l is 3.5 remember this 3.5 not 4.5 3.5 that's why we are taking in between 3.5 is lying in between 3 and 4 so coming towards the problem as i have shown in the table that only I am writing here 0 0.175, 0 0.440 as we have solved for Cx. Similarly, interpolation can be done here also. You will get the value for Cy. So we we have got the value. We have got the value for Cx. We have got the value for Cy. Now, according to Bradbury's equations, he have developed two equation. That is one for stresses at the interior one for uh, stresses at edge the two equations I have uh, he has developed as i have told you in the last video you can check these equations he has developed uh, and we have all the constraints and values each constant values we can substitute we will get the value for stresses at interior now similarly we will calculate for uh, stresses at edge uh, we have the formula uh, we can simply substitute all the values as we have calculated and given in the question only uh, substitute we will do. now after doing up to here one point is very very important which you should know and remember at the time of solving the problem again I am telling as I have told earlier also in earlier video uh, now it is observed that the stresses at the interior are more or greater than stresses at the edge so we should have to calculate how much percentage it is greater than uh, in between them how much it is greater than one another so substituting all the values into 100 as you know uh, we will get the percentage value therefore this uh, stress is greater than this stress this is the value in percentage it is higher than the edge so i hope you people understood it very clearly and the uh, concept is also clear to you in the earlier video hope you understood if uh, any doubt arise you can uh, comment me in my comment box and you can contact through me mail thank you